to tackle this public uh, health concern that's cancer, yes, we do have a plan. Mm -hmm. And the plan is well highlighted through the National Cancer Control Strategy 2023-2027. So for me to answer that question, I, allow me to highlight how we've implemented that policy document up to now. So that even if the issues are sometimes about implementation, mm -hmm. we have to give credit to the government where they have actually done considerable amount of work. So the National Cancer Control Strategy has five pillars. The first pillar goes back to the question that you just asked me. Have we done enough in terms of prevention and early detection? Yes, we have. Right now, as we speak, we are uh, able to screen over 50,000 people annually. 50,000? Yes, and that is breast, cervical cancer, and prostate cancer. Mm -hmm. We do that as a, as a government entity, as National Cancer Institute, and also when we work with partners. Again, for what she said about uh, HPV vaccination for girls aged 10 to 14, as of 2023, we had screened around um, 1.9. The target was 2.3. We had screened, sorry, 1.7. That's around 53% of the targeted population. Mm -hmm. Now, with the, with the introduction of the single dose by the government, which is an adoption of the WHO strategy, that means we'll be able to vaccinate more girls because it addresses the concerns that we had, which were financial constraints, uh, limited workforce, and that. Number two, we go to the second pillar. This pillar basically deals with diagnosis, uh, that is imaging, laboratory medicine, and uh, pathology. Uh, right now, uh, she mentioned that the cancer care continuum in the country, we've structured it in such a way that it works in a hub and spoke. So we have six regional diagnostic uh, centers mm -hmm in Kenya that are able to offer pathology services to the patients. Again, to loop in the social health uh, insurance. And, and where are they, the six? Uh, we have uh, Nairobi, mm -hmm. okay, KTRH, we consider that Kiambu. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Moi, we have Garissa. That is in Eldoret, yes, in Gishu County. Yes, yes, uh -huh. we have Nakuru, mm -hmm. we have Garissa, we have Mombasa. Mm -hmm. You can see six. And also the government is constantly working to improve the scope of services in these facilities. So even when you talk about diagnostic, remember, for the first time, SHA, which is, we've graduated from NHIF, under SHA, we cover diagnostics for cancer. Up to how much? Up to 100,000. 100,000. Yes, that means for a lady And, who, and how much do you need uh, on average? As a, as a roughly, patient? based on our calculation, that 100 is enough for us to initiate the first care. The first care? The first care. Mm -hmm. Up to us finding something wrong, laboratory, biopsy, immunohistochemistry, certain treatment. In the five facilities? In, in, the, the, six five, facilities. in the six facilities. Mm -hmm. in the, some county facilities are actually doing impeccable works in their counties. They just don't get the avenue to speak like, about like which it. which county? For example, Kitui. Kitui County. Kitui County, Makweni County. Mm -hmm. What are yes. they doing differently? Uh, Kitui County um, has a very small but very precise diagnostic capacity. Mm -hmm. So they are able to do your biopsies, your uh, pathology there and initiate treatment. Same for Mark